Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with Ron Placone, Steph Zamorano. Howdy, howdy. Hello, Jimmy and <laughs> fans. Look at that's Rod. Rod is here. He's off a. Of... <laughs> He's got a lot How to you say doing, today. Ron? <laughs> Rod's got a lot to say today. It's been a long morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're here. You can get Steph's t shirt, Donnie Tonahan's. You can get those mugs. You get them right underneath, right there, right underneath. There's a link to our store, not our Amazon link, but our other link to our spreadsheet. Please go help support the show. Also, I wanted to show you the reason we're talking today is uh, the Medicare for All bill that Bernie unleashed, right? So now I've showed you this before. This is Kamala Harris. This is her announcing, apparently to the surprise of her staff, that she's now for Medicare for All. Here, I'm, I'll break some news. Um, I intend to co-sponsor the Medicaid for All bill. And because it's just the right thing to do. It's just the right thing to do. Um, somebody should tell my staff. <laughs> so we've showed you this before, and it's just a weird way to announce you're for something that's going to be a big fight. So to get Medicare for all for people, you have to believe in it. and you got to be willing to fight because the corporations are going to fight harder than they've ever fought. Because this means the end or, or very close to the end of the private health insurance industry and the gross profits of the big pharma. They'll still make m m lots of money. But right now they write themselves their own check because Americans aren't allowed to negotiate for drug prices. So uh, that's why we pay twice as much, m many times more. So my point is, it's a big fight. You're getting ready for a big fight. This is a weird, she seems to be, Steph made the point that she seems to be announcing it in, in, in a way of via, via an apology. She has all the body language of someone apologizing for something. And it's because she's apologizing to her donors. That's this is all our theories, of, co of course. Right. So it, it's it, a little troubling that it, she has to say in this announcement, somebody better tell my staff that I'm supporting something that like, could why, change our country for the better. Right, they don't I, even have a clue. I, about I, it. I slightly disagree with you guys. I think her tone was completely appropriate if she was giving that speech from a confession booth. <laughs> it's Cause right. I grew up Catholic. Yeah, that's that's another point you made when we showed this before was that this sounds more like a confession. Like yeah, someone, it sounds like she's like, right, she's I, like oh, I support, is, I support uh, single payer. Uh, I guess I better tell some. Uh, yeah, I took coke in high school. I did coke when I was in college. Uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> it's not, that's what it sounds like. Here's because what you, it's the right thing. Here's what you sound like. Here's what you sound like when you really intend to fight for something honor to stand with each of you to say never again in America does anyone go bankrupt just because they got sick. It's a little different, right? Than Kamala Harris. Sounds a little different, right? Right off the bat, she's a little different. Never. <laughs> this has been a long fight from Franklin Roosevelt who wanted health care for all as part of Social Security, to Lyndon Johnson, who gave us both Medicare and Medicaid, to Ted Kennedy, who made sure that our children were insured with CHIP, and to Barack Obama, who helped build the game changer that gave millions of Americans who didn't have health care coverage new health care coverage. We are here today to take another step. We will not back down in our protection of the Affordable Care Act. We will defend it at every turn. But we will go further and we will say that in this country, everyone, everyone gets a right to basic health care. That's what Medicare for All is all about, and that's why we're here. I want to say thank you to Bernie for all that you have done. I am honored to be part of this fight. I am honored to have a chance to stand up and say one more time, health care is a basic human right, and we fight for basic human rights. Thank you. 
Somebody better tell her staff. (laughs) 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 I wonder if they know. (laughs) (laughs) So you see the total different ways in which those two people talked about their support for Medicare for All. So that's a big difference in how they talk about it. And we noticed it as soon as soon before we even had this thing to compare to Elizabeth Warren. We noticed it. We were like, that's the that's like the opposite. I'm not a body language expert. And uh, I don't put weight. I don't put too much stock into body language experts. But it, it even if you're not, it would. That's why it was so like, woof, it hit everybody. Even normal people like what? That's incongruent. Her physicality, the way she's announcing it, and what she did, what she pretends to be for. That's how you, if you're for something, that's how you're for something. Am I right? Yes. Okay. She, I'm not a body language expert either, but I have had roommates apologize to me for drinking the last beer. And it, you know. That's what it looks like, right? Very much so, you know. Could have watched it on mute and I'd be like, oh man, she drank the last beer. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I think that was that was a nice co- compare. I just want to compare and contrast, and you you know I'll play you, I'll play you a little bit more of actually of Kamala Harris. Well, let's let's get to the here. I'm, I'll break some news. Um, I intend to co-sponsor the Medicaid for All bill, and because it's just the right thing to do. It's just the right thing to do. Um, somebody should tell my staff. <laughs> um, you're right. You're right. And if you, yeah, again, I, I, that's all. I don't have to play more of it. You, you get it. You're right. I mean, yeah, I guess you, we have to do this. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I'll leave it there. You can watch the rest of what she says. I'm, I'm not going to take time in this video. We've already have another video where we played the whole thing, which she says it, it the whole time. It sounds like she's confessing. She's apologizing for it. And at no point does it sound like she's a fighter. And uh, so that's why, again, this is, this is our suspicions of the corporate Democrats. You know, let's remember that the Republicans v- uh, voted to repeal Obamacare about a thousand times. So they were really for it because they repealed it in the House. They voted for it a thousand times knowing that Barack Obama would not sign it so it wouldn't go anywhere. And when it came time to actually repeal it, the, the Republicans wouldn't sign on to it. Isn't that something? They wouldn't do it. So that's my fear with these corporate. That's why we're all skeptical of these corporate Democrats you know, who say that they're for it. But when the rubber meets the road, when it comes to fight for it, are you going to fight for it? Are you going to push it? And everybody's saying this is just the people who want to run for president, trying to uh, 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 calm their progressive base to give a head fake to them. Look, I'm up for Medicare for all. Shut up. Uh, a bit of something that they know right now isn't going to pass without a huge, huge, huge fight, which they maybe they're not willing to fight. Ron? See, I'm trying to be an optimist here, though, and I'm trying to say that, you know, even if this is a head fake, it's bigger than just, oh, we're trying to please the progressives. It's the realization that a majority of the country is ready for it. And yes. you're not going to sit in the White House in 2020 unless you're for it. Over 50% of Americans are now on board for single payer. Mm-hmm. Over 60% of Americans believe that the government uh, has has a responsibility to make sure everybody has health care. 60% of Americans believe that the government has a responsibility to make sure we have health care. And over 50% believe, some around 51 now, believe that we single payer are support. They're supportive of that. How is that not a winning issue? That's a complete winning issue. Yeah. And Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer still not supporting it. FYI. We already did a video on that. So you could see why we're skeptical, right? Because the same donors of Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi are the same donors here. You see that, you see that, right? That's why we're skeptical. So we'll see. We'll see if the Democrats are really going to fight for it. I remind everybody that the Democrats have a super majority in California, and they're the ones torpedoing single payer health care in California. The Democrats, the Democrats who who say, who run on Medicare for all, just like the Democratic mayor in Baltimore who ran on fifteen dollar minimum wage. She becomes mayor. She vetoes it. That's what we're afraid of. Right. That's what this that's what that this is all. This is politics. Don't forget, this is politics and that these people are professional liars. That's what politicians do for a living.
cautious optimism, but underline the cautious part. Yes. Mm-hmm. You, yes. you got to. So I just wanted to show you the two. That that's what we were talking about before. And when Elizabeth Warren came out and endorsed this, that was like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. And that's what I wanted to show you. Hey, everybody. We have two live Jimmy Dore shows in September. September 25th, we're in San Diego. And September 18th in Burbank, California. Get your tickets right there. There's a link right there.